हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल इनफाइनाइट नॉलेज एंड एज यू नो वी हैव ऑलरेडी फोकसिंग ऑन द एट जीरो फाइव वन प्रोग्रामिंग एंड द सिम्यूलेसन वी हैव कवर ऑन न्यूमेरस प्रोग्रामिंग वीडियो ऑन माई यूट्यूब चैनल न्यूमेरस सिम्यूलेसन फाइल अबाउट द एट जीरो फाइव वन प्रोग्रामिंग सो नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू वन स्टेप फॉरवर्ड एंड दैट इज नाउ वी आर फोकसिंग ऑन द हार्डवेयर ऑफ एट जीरो फाइव वन हार्डवेयर प्रोग्राम हार्डवेयर सिंपल सर्किट सिम्यूलेसन वी विल कवर इन दिस एट जीरो फाइव वन हार्डवेयर सीरीज दिस इज अ बेसिक वीडियो इन विच आई हैव एक्सप्लेन वॉट इज़ एट जीरो फाइव वन वॉट इज़ एट जीरो फाइव वन बोर्ड हाउ यू कैन प्रोग्राम वॉट विच सॉफ्टवेयर डू यू वॉन्ट टू प्रोग्राम योर एट जीरो फाइव वन एंड हाउ मेनी ट्रबल्स माइट बी यू गेट वेन यू आर ट्राइंग टू डू दिस सिम्यूलेसन ट्राइंग टू अपलोड द प्रोग्राम इन दि इन दिस बोर्ड सो दिस वन इज एक्चुअली एक्चुअली दिस वन इज अवर एट जीरो फाइव वन बोर्ड एंड दिस वन इज अवर बर्नर सर्किट दिस बर्नर सर्किट इज यूज टू लोड द प्रोग्राम इन दिस एटी एट नाइन एस फाइव टू आई सी दिस इज अ माइक्रो कंट्रोलर आई सी एंड दिस इज यूज टू बर्न द एग्जिस्टिंग प्रोग्राम एंड अपलोड अ न्यू प्रोग्राम एंड इट इज कनेक्टेड विद द दिस वाइट वायर इज अवर यू एस बी केबल दैट इज कनेक्टेड टू योर लैपटॉप और पी सी थ्रू विच यू वॉन्ट टू प्रोग्राम so let's consider or let's understand the basic components that is used in एट जीरो फाइव वन हियर यू कैन सी दिस इज एडेप्टर और इनपुट सप्लाई सर्किट बाई नाइन टू फिफ्टीन वोल्ट डी सी और एट टू ट्वेल्व वोल्ट ए सी यू कैन अप्लाई थ्रू हियर इट इज ऑन ऑफ स्विच टू ऑन ऑफ द सप्लाई टू योर माइक्रो कंट्रोलर दिस इज अ फिल्टरेशन सर्किट इट्स सेवन एट जीरो फाइव वोल्टेज रेगुलेटर आई सी टू रेगुलेट योर वोल्टेज टू योर माइक्रो कंट्रोलर दैट इज अ फाइव वोल्ट इनपुट सप्लाई ओके The capacitors are filter capacitors. Uh, the reset circuit are also there, and there is a capacitors also there for the creating the reset circuits. Uh, here is the ports. Here you can see it's a port zero. <coughs> Sorry, port two, port one, and port three. This is a crystal circuit, and these are the capacitor for your crystals. The eleven point zero five nine two megahertz crystal we have used in this circuitry. This is a P three point seven. It means the switch that is a in build. It connected to P three point seven your pin number p3.7 and it when you press this switch your p3.7 pin get a ground your p3.7 pin get connected to ground uh, it's a serial communication port to communicate with your uh, pc when you transfer a data through a uh, pc this is rxd and txd pin and uh, <clears throat> this is a p2.0 the led this one is led is connected to your port p2.0 so uh, it's a inbuilt connected to p2.0 so we will understand uh, further how you can get on this pin number when you or how you can get on this p2.0 pin number by uh, creating a program uh, uh, we will see it uh, later so this one is our burner circuit uh, there is a one ic and and uh, the communication circuit cables are there by this way this burner circuit is used to burn out your existing program so i i will give a uh, description uh, i will give the purchase link of the 8051 in uh, amazon link in the description by uh, that link you can buy this uh, uh, 8051 board both I, i bought both in the 900 rupees with this cable con uh, connected to or with this cable also in that 900 not a multimeter <laughs> okay so what is you what you have to do you have to just connect uh, it uh, this is a uh, usb port and uh, it is connected to my pc now when i connect it you can see my board is now on so uh, it is uh, now connected now go to the uh, us, uh, screen of the uh, pc pc screen and try to install a, or try to understand which type of software will require to uh, to upload a program in this simulation or not a simulation in this board it's a 8051 board now we are switch to the board not a simulation part so for to download the software you have to go to google and just search prog isp okay uh, as uh, it takes some time i am checking the internet connection is it okay or not okay then uh, you have to uh, uh, go to this website wordpress.com just press on this there is a tutorial also available on this website so by follow that tutorial you can uh, install the software also 
but no necessary to follow the tutorial all the things will be available in this uh, video so actually what uh, this is a uh, uh, board this is also a 05 and board but it contain a number of things you can see here uh, this uh, these are the uh, seven segment uh, led that is inbuilt on this pcb uh, so four cross four keyboard is also available then clock digital clock is also available there is a number of leds also available. you can use uh, uh, this also but it is a costly clock costier than i uh, than what we have already done so first to focus on the simple module try to do a uh, programming in the simple module then switch to this advanced module ic is same same ic is used in the both module 889s52 but i think so this is nearly uh, 13 uh, one, uh, 1300 and uh, i have bought in my uh, simple module it is in the 800 rupees okay so you have to download by uh, selecting this download button just select it will automatically download i have already downloaded it so this is the software okay i am opening it this is a you don't there is a no any setup you you can directly open the software and this is a prog isp you can see here is a it is a application just double click on it you will see the interface of this uh, simple software so it takes some time to open okay it is open so first of all you have to select the chip so our chip is 889s52 so i have connect uh, uh, it is already explained then uh, to upload a program you have to go to file go to load flash and uh, select the hex file that you created for the hex file creation you have to use this is a different different hex file uh, just i am taking simple uh, hex file hardware led okay i am selecting the hex file and to upload this i have to go to auto but here there is a one twist twist this uh, pro isp it is in gray color actually it is like this this way it's it is in the red color but is it's in the gray color what is mean what is mean your pc or your laptop is not communicating with your microcontroller to check this you have to go in the device manager and if there is any error you can see error in the device manager so you can see here the device manager is open and uh, uh, this is uh, uh, usb at which our ma uh, microcontroller is connected okay so that is a, a, a explementary integration that what it means it means our driver is not communicating with our h 51 our computer is not communicating with the h 51 so to resolve this problem what you have to do you have to search on the uh, advanced change advanced setup change advanced setup search of op this option in your uh, pc okay press the restart button press it is restarting now so i have uh, press on restart anyway so uh, now it will take some time to restart so after some time you get a uh, this type of interface go to troubleshooting then advanced option then startup setting then uh, click on this restart button it will take some time to restart so after restarting you get a uh, this type of uh, interface so now you have to press the 7 7 button on your keyboard or through your keyboard now your mouse is not working you have to press the 7 button on keyboard so now i have I am pressing the 7 button from my keyboard so you can see here <coughs> it is restarting now our PC is restarting now and uh, again we will check it after it restart so PC is now restarting please wait for some time ok uh, very nearer ok now successfully restarting or restarted so now I am again opening uh, uh, that software uh, USB ISP flash it will take some time to open 
okay it is open and uh, uh, directly go to the uh, this application okay okay success 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 you can see uh, uh, before it was a brown or uh, a uh, gray gray not a brown and now it's a red and our microcontroller is also communicating perfectly with our pc so i want to uh, upload that uh, uh, project uh, or the program that create our p 2.0 bit high it means our one led that is inbuilt led in circuit gets high so for that i have to go to load flash go to load flash and select that uh, hex file that you have already created so what the name of that hex file i think so test dot test dash led dot hex open it okay it's open and just click on this auto button it will take some time the red led indicate a microcontroller is a taking program from our pc you can see red led in the burner circuit this one is a burner circuit uh, okay uh, i am opening okay this one is a burner circuit and this p 2.0 pin or uh, not a pin it's a led p 2.0 led here it's a off and uh, microcontroller taking program through our pc by this software it will take some time so wait for it okay so successfully uploaded and you can see our p 2.0 pin gets on when i press the reset button okay sorry okay you can see uh, when i press reset button it's get off and again it's get on because when I press reset button, a program go to ORG00 hex initialization state. And our, our program is only to get high P2.0 pin. And this LED is connected to P2.0 pin. That's why it's get on. Now you want to get off this LED. So change the program to set bit to clear bit. So I am again opening our, our KL software. Take some time to open okay here what we have done we had set bit i have changed to set bit to clear bit okay clr clear save created the hex file zero error zero warning again go to the software to upload the program go to file go to load flash select it's already selected we have uh, we can all, uh, select once again okay just press auto okay as i press auto uh, this red led gets on it's indicate microcontroller taking program for your software here you can see our program is loaded successfully okay okay ah, okay successfully and so you can see here our p 2.0 uh, pin is uh, uh, it's in the off condition as uh, mentioned in our program so I hope you understood <clears throat> understood this video. If you have any query, just comment it. I will definitely require reply. And uh, in the next video, we will see how you can uh, uh, control your LED on and off by using a switch. Both switch and the LEDs are on board. You can see here. You can uh, this uh, by this switch by this switch you will control this LED. Okay in the next video thanks for watching this video if you have still any query just comment it i will definitely reply and <clears throat> for any hardware project of 8051 you can contact me uh, the email id given in the description box thanks for watching this video